Okay, next up, we're going to add a little bit of multiplication. Multiplication, it, uh, multiplies. <laughs> and we can change this to ads so that it becomes a BDD naming. Uh, let's do, let's get the no, wrapper on oh, shallow. Render the app. I'm gonna copy this from the last test. Um, and then um, we're gonna change this to say uh, five times nine. Okay, so now we get an error here. Uh, type error cannot read property one of null. Now I know, like just watching this code coverage here, that uh, the error is here. Like you can very easily identify where where things go wrong using these code coverage uh, indicators. But uh, let's say that uh, this was a big file and it, would, it was a bit more tricky to, you know, like I couldn't, Maybe I didn't have this file open or something. If I just, uh, if I'm on this line here where it's failing, I can just do do uh, command shift P and uh, to bring up the Visual Studio Code uh, command thingamabob. And then I just do uh, wallaby um, jump to uh, error source. And then it will actually just boom, jump me to the line where the error happens, which is pretty cool. Was unfortunately not clever enough to actually do it in the file that was open. So I'm gonna move this over here. Still super useful. Anyway, we have this problem here. We see that uh, type error cannot read property one of null. Um, that is because, well, this is not matching because we have, um, uh, like we have this, we are doing multiplication and this just expects there to be uh, plus. That's the only thing that we support. So we're gonna add support for that. I'm gonna add a star here. Uh, does that work? What happens? No, it's still not matching. Oh, hang on. In regex I need to, when I want to match either or, I need to add these little brackets. And now it matches. See here, like five star nine. Look here, by the way, like this is so cool. Uh, you see here that it uh, says uh, star comma plus and it does comma here as well. So it shows me the values of um, of these things on both runs. So like this is from the multiplication test and this is from the addition test. So like that is it's like super, super cool. So in loops, it will actually show all the values, but, but while it's cool, it's not what we want at the moment. So I'm going to uh, focus on only the multiplies test for the moment to keep us from distracting by adding it only. And now you see that that disappeared and we used, just see the little star here. Uh, however, our test is still failing because it ex here, uh, it expects the value to be 45, but it received empty string, which makes sense because we're not doing anything here uh, because we, we only support plus. So I'm going to add else if operator equals star, then I'm going to do the result equals left times right. Uh, I know this code is super silly, uh, and this is absolutely not how you would write a real calculator. Why? I don't know. I don't have never written a real calculator, um, but it's probably not how you do it. This is just for illustrative purposes. We just demonstrating um, Wallaby here. Uh, but that distracted me from the fact that the test is now green. I wanna talk a little bit about coverage here. I'm not big on test coverage in general. I don't think it's necessarily a useful metric, but when you use it like this, it's really cool. Uh, if you see here, like this one is white. It means that this line of code here, it's it's not being executed. And he goes, wait, what? We have a test for this. Oh no, wait, we're using, we have only enabled here. So if I 
remove the only, we'll see that, oh, now everything here is covered. Pretty, pretty cool. When it comes to coverage, Wallaby actually includes a pretty nifty thing. If you go to wallabyjs.com <laughs> slash app, um, you actually get this thing that shows you your local test run. So they are hosting this app, so you don't have to run a web server yourself, but this actually runs against your local Wallaby JS. So you see here that these are my tests and it also shows some really, uh, like shows this, the inline evaluation thing is pretty cool. If I click here, it actually jumps to that point in the editor, which is just, Pretty, pretty cool um, uh, integration with Visual Studio Code. But what I actually wanted to sh draw your attention to is this test coverage here. So you can see here that you have 100% uh, test coverage of app.js, nice. Um, but we have these register service worker and index.js here that have 0% coverage and then it's dragging our average down. So I'm going to go jump to the config file and get rid of those from the, uh, from the coverage. And we, we do files with no coverage, coverage calculated. Boom. And it's src slash, what's it called? Hang on. Register service worker. And we also don't want to include the source index.js either, because that is just like, just set up and stuff. Uh, and I need a comma there, and I think that should be it. Might have to restart Wallaby, not sure. Let's see if I just refresh here. Yeah, I think I need to restart Wallaby. Uh, Wallaby start. This is the one I'm watching, by the way, if you're wondering where my eyes are. Uh, and we now have 100% coverage. Very nice. Now. We haven't actually looked at the app for like a million years. So let's make sure that our apps actually work. Probably won't. Um, let me start it. Um, mm, 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 mm. Where is it? Come on. Do, 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 do. Bam. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Dead. Okay. At least it starts. Let's try to write four. Oh. Bam, cannot read property one of not. Okay, makes sense because when I started typing, it just didn't, we haven't considered the case of partial input where you just start typing. So, mm, all right, so uh, I think the, pro the problem is here, like parts is uh, when, uh, if we have a partial expression here, this is not going to match. So parts is going to be null. So I think that we could just, if parts, or not parts, then we just return. All right, now it works. And then I go one plus one and yeah, two, one, five, 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 four, nice. But, what is this? The coverage has dropped from 100%. Mm, let's let's check this out. Let's jump into app.js here. Notice here that this is now brown, like poop brown. That means that this line is partially covered. Uh, so it, uh, in, in some cases, it will, uh, tests have covered it, but this return statement here, mm, we've added this without adding any tests for it. Mm, nasty, nasty. So let's do that. Let's add a test for it. It, uh, let's see here. It, it doesn't crash on partial input. All right, let's actually undo our change here as well. Uh, 
because otherwise we have no way of knowing if our test is actually uh, uh, actually testing what what we expect it to. Like it's it's important to actually have your code breaking before writing a test. Um, const let's actually just copy this. Uh, I know that we're seeing a lot of duplication in these tests, uh, but uh, I'm, I want to focus on demonstrating like the live feedback cycle of, uh, of Wallaby here, not necessarily every aspect of good testing practices. Um, anyway, the partial input should looks like that. And now we reintroduce the, the change that we had made. Let's see, oh, 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 there. And we're green and we are now back at 100%. And notice that this just ooh, live updated, pretty cool. And that's Wallaby JS. It's really nice if you're into test-driven development. Wallaby has a free trial, so you can just install it immediately in, uh, in Visual Studio Code. But if you buy it, make sure that you enter the coupon code fun fun function when you order, because that gives you a rebate. That is limited until January 31st, though. So this coupon code will stop working on this date. So make sure that you, if you, if you think about buying it, buy now. That coupon code is also in the episode description. And that is it. You have just watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. I am MPJ. Until next time, stay curious.